Tuesday, August 23rd, 1.51 p.m. and I can't get my ASS in gear. It's awful. The place is empty. Nobody is with me. Lucy has made it home safe and sound. I just found out. So Lucy, go have a nice rest. You certainly deserved it after all this traveling, but I'm glad that you made it home, home safe and sound. I'm having such a hard time with getting back into my routine. I have about seven videos to, um, to edit and upload. I don't think I'll be able to make it all today, but I will do my darndest best. But it's 1.50 and I haven't done a thing except for my morning art. I think it's going to take me a couple of days. It's just so strange because I am used to living on my own. Um, but I remember having the same feeling last year when my daughter and Xander were staying with me for a week. And it took me a couple of days to get back into the swing of things. But I won't be too hard on myself. I will do what I can, but... Um, I did sleep in a little bit this morning, which was glorious. Uh, not because I couldn't sleep in <laughs> the days that um, I was on alone, but uh, it just, it was different because we had things to do and stuff. But anyways, I'm not sure exactly how much fun stuff I'll get to film today. Oh, I will show you what I made. Hold on. I will show you what I made for my morning All right, I had leftover paint in my dish there and this is what I did. Today, I used the leftover paint and I just deposited the color, really, and I ended up making circles. And then I doodled very simply. I'm sorry I'm shaky for some reason. But uh, this kind of pattern I took uh, inspiration from Pinterest, but this is not my usual patterning style. This is more like my usual pattern style. But uh, I like my page. It was fun. I like the softness of it with the contrast of the doodles. I think it's fun. So I'm currently sitting outside on the balcony. I'm editing. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that yesterday I took Lucia for her birthday dinner. Her birthday is on the 29th. Um, but we went out to dinner and I must have eaten something that didn't agree with me. I didn't want to mention anything and to Lucy just in case you know she was nervous about getting sick on the flight but we didn't eat the same thing I think um, I had ribs and garlic mashed potatoes that's it I didn't have anything else and I felt quite sick so last night I was not feeling well at all and this morning I thought I was better but now this afternoon I'm feeling crappy again so I need some fresh air. So that's why I decided to come and edit on the balcony. Plus, I mean, seriously, look at this setup. setup. Not a bad setup. I'm lounging on my couch outside. And check out this gorgeous weather. I love it when the skies are blue. About to edit my second vlog of today. Hopefully I'll be able to squeeze in a third one. I spent most of the afternoon or late afternoon sitting on the balcony going through emails and going through all kinds of comments and stuff and took advantage of the nice weather. Also rearranged patio furniture because I felt like I was sitting, I was sitting against the railing, but my railing is all glass. So I felt like I was sitting into the nothing and I don't do well with heights. So I kind of rearranged everything. So that's all done. Um, while I'm uploading the footage for vlog number, that's a good number, 17, I have received a few things. First of all, uh, thank you, Lucy, for introducing me to these wonderful gizmos. Uh, these are digital or USB card readers. My card reader in my computer is shot, and I know that I should bring it into the shop because when they replaced the logic board, um, they did it for free. There was a, a major problem with the year that my computer was made, and the card reader does not um, work anymore, So, and I think it's still under warranty, so I should bring it as soon as I can. But anyways, in the meantime, I don't have time for that. <laughs> so in the meantime, I got myself a nice uh, card reader, which... That eliminates the need for a big clunky card reader that I bought 10 years ago when I got my iMac. <sighs> one less plug to deal with, one less, two less wires to deal with, that's fantastic. Also, also, I have received something that I'm very excited about. I'm going to show you. Here's what I've received. 
very excited about this. This is a desk pad. It is my answer to what Martha or Marta Lakoska has published on her secret to her desktop uh, covering. She uses a floor protection mat. All the floor protection mats that I have looked online and in like at stores had like this um, patterned top. It was reflective. It wasn't what uh, Marta had found. So I'm very anxious and very excited uh, to open this because this is supposed to be matte. And this will cover the surface. I will put a white paper underneath this and it'll hopefully be perfect for recording because I don't like the reflective surface of this anti-stick mat. Uh, it's the wrong color as well. It dulls everything uh, when I'm filming. So yay, quite excited about that. I have to do quite a bit of a cleanup here. <laughs> it is not it is highly reflective as you can see here and I'm quite upset total disappointment I don't know what to do I think I'm gonna need to return this I'm gonna have to check my order again and see if I've made a mistake or if they have if they have I'm going to have this returned and if I made the mistake, well then, that's a costly mistake. So I'm quite disappointed. Bummer. Okay, look at this. This is the item that I have ordered, right? It says here, rectangle desk pad, 20 by 36, clear. But it clearly says here, matte, non-slip surface, matte. It is not matte. It is clearly highly reflective. So that description right there is wrong. And I ordered it with the assumption that this was matte. So I'm going to return the item. I'm going to try and see if I can find something that suits my needs. I spent a good hour trying to get rid of the sticky residue left by the masking tape. I've been taping these two self, um, not self healing, but non-stick mats. To this table and then adding more masking tape um, as the previous one was frayed and then it left like this super sticky residue so I used undo to remove most of it and I also had to sand some parts of it um, and there are still some paint spots over here and in a few other places I don't care what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slap a coat of varnish on this because this is a butcher block table that's true but I'm not using it using it as such so there's no point in me uh, oiling it or prepping it like you would a butcher block so I'm just gonna varnish it and be done with it so I think tomorrow I'm gonna go to the store and buy some varnish and do this this will be my project for tomorrow in the meantime I'll use this table as my main table for arting and stuff it's 9 46 I think I'm gonna continue editing the vlog for the 17th of August maybe I'll be able to squeeze in the 18th of August I'm tired <laughs> but I want to plan through because I have so much backlog and other things to do that I need to really bear down and do as much as I can so I'm gonna end this vlog here thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them below and I will see you later Bye. <laughs>